Oh right, I could have... You're actually right, Hodor. I totally forgot about the fact that I could just play more than 40 cards as well. But if I have high impact cards like Annihilation, I don't want to have more than 40 cards. That's the, that's the thing. Oh well. Goodbye, we'll Ogre. What we can do. It's been fun. It's good to me. Bloodseeker in the last lane is what I like to see as well. Need a health item for him though. So he doesn't die next turn. He might even die this turn actually if he has, ends up having a Pathic Shield. But Bloodseeker in general in the last lane is going to be good because of Payday. I mean I suppose I could also just use Payday right now and already get the 10 gold. So I have a higher chance of also getting that health item. Hmm. Nah. I if considering I have Helm of Dominator in my deck I have to get greedy with this. Okay, so there's the, the Apothic Shield, unfortunately. Hmm. Well, in that case, Payday makes even less sense, I guess. Because I'm not going to get an item that saves him. Okay, I suppose some heroes can benefit from the additional attack. He's got two creeps spawning here, so if I put Venomancer in the right lane, it's unlikely to die. And even if it faces the Abaddon, I still have the short sword to set up the kill on it, unless he gets a health item. That's quite annoying, but I can. I guess I have the good arrow, so Vicious Nasal Goo is quite decent here. There's also a Stone Hole lead I can set up, however. It seems too good to not play with. Yeah, Nasal Goo seems too good to not play here. Although, nah. nah it has to be Stronghold Lead, I think. He could easily just have a creep as well right now to put in front of this. So I get less benefit from the Nasal Goo. You're not ready for what's in store. And also setting this up just applies more pressure to the tower, which is what I want to be doing too. So, I guess the Soul Venom here is better. Can you smell the smoke my daughter's brain? I mean, it doesn't really do, do all that much, to be honest. I'll take care of you. Hmm. It doesn't really do all that much, to be honest, but it's. I guess I still would rather have Arcane Assault on this lane, because I need the initiative. Because I can make use of the initiative better than. Yeah. Let's go for the short sword first and then Arcane Assault. What a delightful toy. Yikes. Okay, this is gonna be really annoying, but don't deal with. You could argue that you could also save the Arcane Assault for some clutch scenarios where you really need the initiative. But then again, I still need to get those cards first that I need the initiative for, so. If I don't have them, then what's the point of saving the initiative card? Maybe it would have been better to save the Soul Venom for here, though. Kind of want to give Bloodseeker Middle a try. He can potentially dispose of this Enchantress. I don't want to be losing this lane here just yet. Although he will probably just put the Zeus in here, so because of the 7 mana, right? I think it's actually... I think I'm supposed to just ditch this lane. And just contest the right lane instead. 15 seconds remaining. Yeah, the left lane seems won already, I don't need to commit more there. Yeah, he's putting a blue hero here because of Thunder God's Wrath. Hmm. 
I think I'm gonna put the nasal goo on the Zeus just to have an easier time killing it. But to be honest, hmm, yeah, okay, let's just let's just do this. I was thinking maybe put it on the Farven, because I mean the Zeus dies anyway, but he could have an item that saves him. I will scorch the earth. That's a big yikes. And the ignites are just so annoying for my plague wards. Too easy. Oh, so yeah, Thunder God's Wrath incoming, I suppose. The Venomancer dies. Not much I can do about that. Oh, he's not going for it, okay. But yeah, it is the right call to just completely ignore this lane, that's for sure. There is an Ignite and a Salamine's favor and two heroes, because it was obviously was gonna put the blue hero in the middle. Tyler State Sensor to give him less options, I suppose. I, I, this is gonna be so annoying though. I need a bunch of plague wards in this lane. I made this for you. It's just a shame that they keep dying instantly to just to melee creeps already. I gotta use the cloak on the Venomancer. I would love to have it on the on the Bloodseeker, but I need to stay on the field as long as possible. This dies to ignite next turn. So I have to put it there. Seems like a waste to put everything here, honestly. But how am I supposed to contest this Ignite like with the Venomancer? It's just not gonna happen. I have to brute force my way through this. Just spawn two Plague Wards per turn on the right lane. That's pretty much all I can do. I could New Orders here just to deal more damage to the tower. I don't think that's necessary though. Right? I mean, I'm winning this lane eventually anyway. Fifteen seconds remaining. Nah. Let's just deal eight. Yeah, this is the natural counterplay. He might have gone for this anyway, just to save his creep, but I prob he probably wouldn't have done that, I think, if I didn't go for the new order. Because the creep ultimately would have died anyway to the Stonehold lead next turn. So I think he was content with the creep uh, blocking two things. A little safer. Fuck! Why oh, you gotta do this to me? I can't. I can never play this disciple unless I'm finishing the game with it. <laughs> I just can't. So I suppose I'm forced to play so venom in this lane.
into this unknown. I have brought such beauty. It's good that they spawn next to each other as well. Here to help. Mm -hmm. Infinite armor on this guy. I see. So, what's about to die to the ignite? The Zeus. So I guess I have to save him. Although, nah, it's still it's still better to actually let it die. It, it's it's inevitable that at some point you will have Thunder God's wrath on this lane. Seconds remaining. And just having the health in general on the Venomancers is gonna be better. Five seconds remaining. I won't die today. All the four heroes dead next turn to Thunder God's Wrath. Yeah, they kind of are. It's so hard to punch through this. Maybe it was still better to... Oh, maybe it was still better to go mid. At least with one hero. The timing is so this lane's going down next turn. Just annihilate this lane. <laughs> okay, well. Goodbye, board. Good luck dealing with this. Seems like I have to just go for it, right? Hmm. I needed this. Yeah. Yeah. Scream morning. <laughs> what a dumb fucking game. Well, if luck serves me well, I get my helmet dominated right now. No, I don't. Never mind. There it is. Fuck, and one gold off now. God damn it, man. One gold. 15 seconds remaining. Yeah, payday is good and all, but I cannot play it right now. Okay, there's another creep that spawns in front of my boy, so... <sighs> Oh! Oh wait, I am the one with all the dead heroes, but he still has two dead heroes, so Routed is still fine. But yeah, I was thinking like, oh yeah, I, four heroes hit with Routed, but it's actually my heroes, never mind. Still good enough. I will do anything to look after my people. All these improvements, man. I cannot beat this shit. <laughs> I just can't beat all these improvements with my Venom answer. Like Ignite especially. You still ran away. I can't just win this lane as well right now, but I mean I can't contest it either.
place two Path of Dreamers just in case I get, I'm able to push a tower as well. Oh boy. Two armed rebellions. I'm not dead on the first lane on the second lane yet. I can still contest it, potentially. It is possible. Lucky me. Alright, you know what? With the creep with the creep spawning over here, I think I'm doing it. Everyone, get in here. This is actually everyone though. One blue hero lane one, no. I mean maybe. Ah uh, maybe I have to put one hero lane one. The Zeus, I guess. Five seconds remaining. Three, two, one. Yeah, I suppose. Alright, he's contesting the right lane. Cause he thought he thought I go here for sure because the tower is lower. But yeah, it's just way too many improvements to punch through. I will never get through that. So let's see. Um I mean, even if he like, he, even if this tower goes down, he's still gonna need quite some time to push through this tower. He doesn't have like, he just like one thunder height pack, and that's it, right? <sighs> so, what do I do in here? Fifteen seconds remaining. I, I, the like, thunder god's wrath doesn't do anything right now. Let's just play the troll who's there to set up lethal here in this lane. Dark times are coming. Eastless conflagration as well. <laughs> Jeez, the, the improvements on this guy. Insane. Do I even want to kill this one? I actually don't think so. I think it's better if it's stuck in the left lane. Fifteen seconds remaining. Let's force him to play something in this lane. We are blessed. Okay. <laughs> That's good enough, I guess. then so venom such delight my god i need him i wanted to play something bigger in this lane so i can just steal it with helm but if he paid attention to my gold count then he knows and looks just looks at my deck list he knows i have helm hmm He's got Windfall Hammer. What the fuck is this item deck? He's got way too many items in here. So Zeus says bye bye. Mm -hmm. Oh, multicast. How convenient. <laughs> so ridiculous. <laughs> Let's go with another one. Don't be afraid. My children will bring you a swift death. And then, dude, it's like. Ready. They are all just gonna die to ignite.
You honor me. Can't win this. It's just not possible. You looking after us. Maybe stealing this one was better. I'm ready for the fight. <laughs> what is this shit? Can't be serious. As lovely as my daughters? No. But quite appealing nonetheless. So yeah, all these things die. At least I get to spawn some plague wars still, but yeah, you know. Oh, actually, I don't even get to spawn plague wars. I just realized. Well, now you have so I suppose I should have put the Helm of Dominator on one of these, the so I could get, get to still spawn plague wars. I suppose it could also argue it's better that the Venomancers die right away. I can't beat this shit. Every lane I'm in, I'm just gonna die instantly. Yeah, I have to 80 the left tower now, pretty much. And I guess that's also not gonna be possible. I don't even kill it because it keeps spawning something in front of my boy. Keeping the fucking tower alive. Tire of this bloodshed. <laughs> this is so pathetic. My board. I will need something in this lane though, so he doesn't push me down too fast. I guess I can maybe jam the bristle back in here, because it's a big body, it's not gonna die so fast. He's not gonna AT me here in this lane. So... Look, you're ready for war. You can't hide from Zeus. It's not over yet, man. I could surrender, but he's just killing me so slowly. It's it's gonna take him a long, long time to do that. So bristle back in the right lane. Something else in the right lane, maybe. I don't know. I guess Bloodseeker would be good in the right lane, but he cannot. I cannot deploy him just yet. So I think for now it's only gonna be the bristle. Actually, I should be putting a blue hero on the right lane too, though. So I can cast double Thunder Gods. Hmm. Yeah, actually, I have to. I need the Bloodseeker for the left lane, I just realized, because of Disciple, right? Yeah, that's right. Alright, so now hopefully I have enough damage for this lane.
I suppose I will need foresight then, uh, not foresight, but soul venom in the right lane. Yeah, I think so. So that's foresight here. Oh, okay. That's good to know. So worst case, I can always just annihilate the le the right lane. How many cards do I have left? 14. Even being stuck with you can't ruin my day. Words hurt. Yeah, I think... Okay, I mean, I, I guess just because the red hero is here, I can just use the conscript to try to contest this lane. And then if I can't do that anymore, then Annihilation will be plan B. Didn't I buy a cloak? Where the fuck did I put it? Oh, it's right here. <laughs> like, where the, where the hell was the cloak? So let's start off with the cloak. Nice. The Lord of the Don't care. Yeah, I guess it's unnecessary to use Thunder God's Wrath, to be honest. Or annihilation. It's, it's too early for annihilation as well. For the glory of Stonewall. Jesus. So venom is not worth it either in this lane right now. So. <sighs> A wise decision. Man. Okay, this goes left. And yeah, now it sucks even harder that I have the helm on this lane. Although it does benefit me if ever if he sees ever spawning creeps to save himself. I need to kill this somehow. Good thing this gets redirected to the farven, so it's more likely to die now. I'm gonna use the blood rate on this just so he can't cast anything to save it. The player twins give me aid. And now we're doing the discipling. Yeah, it's already fine to do it, along with So Venom. Or is do I need the double Thunder God's Wrath? Not really, no. Do you long to lovely prizes? See how your army grows strong. We are all servants of the twins. We know it or not. You'll see, I'm, I'm able to win this game still. You will see. Look at this. 53 incoming. So it's gonna be another three. It's gonna be another three from the creep spawn. Uh, from the guaranteed creep spawn. 
So all I need is like one more melee creep in that lane and I win. If he doesn't spawn anything in the left, that is. Mm, ogre in that lane though. What can he what can he do? Thunderstorm? Oh boy. Oh boy, if only if only I had something to prevent that. <laughs> Motherfucking blood rage. Jeez. So this basically means I cannot afford to play anything in this lane. I have to let him do his thing. Whatever that thing might be. Hey, I mean, there are scenarios where it's useful, okay? It's just super, super, super situational. That's what I'm saying. Oh, baby! Both creeps spawning here, but he also has two creeps spawning there, so that's not nice. Oh, the struggle. The struggle is real, man. He's gotta have the thunderstorm, right? I mean, there's like no way he doesn't have that. It's this whole reason for putting the hero over here. It's a shame I don't have enough to like kill him now. <gasps> or do I? Or do I? Die in my god. Oh right, the creeps don't do anything! Plague wards, MVP. Dude. Let the blood flow freely. Never fucking give up. Oh Echo! You should give up this lane. It's you over. Also I had Helm dominated against the creeps, so the creeps actually would have played even beneficial for me. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. There we go. Easy fucking peasy. What the fuck did I watch? Yeah, I mean, he locked down two lanes completely, but he couldn't lock down the third lane. <sighs> Initiative wins games, that's true.